Today, the Mercury Marine destination starts us in Saskatchewan, then down to sunny Key West, Florida. First, when the waters are cold and the fish are inactive, small lures and leaders can be more productive, but often can't handle the strain of large pike. Not if you're using this new kink-proof wire. Then time for a drive south, putting the ram to work. Charlie and Terry head down to Key West, Florida for some winter fun in the sun. Ocean fishing is always a treat, and you never know what is next on the line. Some days they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Stay tuned for wire that will change the way you fish. Big things to come this week on Fishful Thinking. Fishful Thinking is brought to you by Mercury Marine, Crestliner Boats, Seaguar Kansan Braided Lines, and the all new Ram 1500. Guts, glory, Ram. Water conditions are brought to you by Water Depot. Water at its best by your water treatment specialists. Wave heights this trip are only expected to be one to two feet. Smooth out your ride with Smooth Moves Seat Mounts. Yeah, let's have a better look at you. Nice little fish. Hopefully you didn't take that too deep. Sometimes I love those little inline spinners, and I always used to make my own inline spinners. And this one I've made myself as well. Part of the trick used to be making an inline spinner with thinner than normal single strand wire. But they don't last long on a fish. They get bent up and kinked. I've actually made this with that not too kinky wire. So it can bend all over itself. And then it, it, it stays straight. And I've done the same thing with that little leader. It's that not too kinky wire that I've made that spinner out of. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, let me get the spreaders on this guy. That's the thing I hate about inline spinners is they always kink. Well, I've solved that by tying my own with that, like I said, that not too kinky. And you look at that wire leader, there's not even a kink in it. Oh, easy, bud. There we go. He's not too bad. No, it's a fat little fella. Short but fat. Yeah, yeah. That's a, it's always good. Yep. And feisty. <laughs> Morning shower. Yep. Right on. Yeah, thank you, sir. See, if you look at that spinner, not a bend in the wire. It can do, it, you can bend it over in itself and it goes straight. Same with this not too kinky leader. It just goes straight. But something I noticed last year, Adam, I don't know if they get feeding on leeches early in the year, but adding that little impulse twister tail adds a little bit of scent and it looks like a leech and I got some huge fish just on this little little addition last year. Adam did you see that? Yeah you didn't want it at he first. You didn't want it and it's just that twitching I don't know if they're feeding on leeches at times but that little the spinner's not doing anything but it's the scent of that impulse plastic and looks like a leech. It's that little addition on the back. There's a good fish. That's a nice fish. Another dandy. Or if he's still pretty feisty, he's just. Oh, I don't think he's done yet. Tire, tire out. Give a head shake or two. I don't like tiring them out too much, but you don't want them going ballistic in your grip either. That's right. Yeah. Then they hurt themselves. satisfying catching it on your own spinner as well. A couple of beads, a little worm weight or a tungsten weight, some blades. Okay, that's enough out of you. Oh, Just maybe it isn't enough bit. out of you. Wow, that's just straight down off that bank. He was just trying to tuck right under that bank again. Yeah, sometimes it's actually pretty deep underneath those little skeg, edge of the skeg there too. You want me to get this one, Adam? Oh, it's up to you. I got him if... 
Your okay. call. Yep. If you're back there, yep. he seems to want to go that way. Good grab. That'll be an easy one. Yeah, it's good. You don't take them too deep, but no, it's a solid fish. Nice, another nice. <laughs> we still got to get into the big ones. Why? Well, no, these are just cookie cutter average, and yeah. that's that's incredible as an average size fish. Holy! Now you saw how how he had that crunched. See any bends in that wire? That not too kinky? It's awesome stuff. The only thing is, you're not going to get perfect perfect knots. It doesn't pull up like beautiful little clinch knots. Sometimes you gotta do some little loop knots and some, some what looks like loose clinch knots, but it doesn't let go. Lowe's captioning is brought to you by Mercury. Power and dependability you can count on. How many times have you wore out the grip of your favorite pliers or wanted to add grip to something like jaw spreaders? Well, it's actually really easy. There's products on the market that are actually rubber dips. They're so easy to use. One of my favorite pair of pliers. It just inserts and very slowly, you let that rubber adhere to the metal you take it out. This one says an inch per five seconds. And you let that dry. And I've got my rubber grip back on my favorite pliers again. Email or write Fishful Thinking and simply mention this maintenance tip of the week for your chance to win one of 10 tackle packs, including a chance to win one of two mega packs. Numbers, numbers, here's another one for you. <laughs> yeah, cast. Lay one back, next cast, another same average. Yeah, yeah. You know, just over 30 inch fish, but. I think that one ate my plastic. Ooh, easy, bud. Yeah, he did, yeah. Ooh, he's just, just lipped him. Well, that's the good thing with barbless too, right? As long as you keep it tight. He's not as fat a little longer. But still, we gotta get the big ones. Yes, yeah, sir. Whoa. Average, whoa. Nice. Thank you, sir. You bet. I don't know, what do you think, Adam, of this wire that doesn't kink? That's pretty neat stuff, actually. <laughs> Saves a lot of time. It does. If you're not constantly changing equipment. Another healthy little fella. Well, nothing little about it, but. That's why you're not coming, you're coming backwards. <sighs> wrapped, wrapped. See, you're completely wrapped in that wire and there's not a kink in it. Yeah, that's nice stuff. Let me in there. There we go. I, I like how gentle you are with the fish too, Adam. Yeah, well, it's, it's, the guy's gotta be, cause in quick, out quick, and... Yeah, and that's the future of the lake. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we still gotta get you on some 50s and high 40s. Oh, we got lots of time. I'm having fun with these. Can't all be about big fish. Yeah. But you saw how that fish wrapped completely in that. There's the spinner, not a kink in it. There's the leader, not a kink in it. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it works nice, I like that yeah. stuff. I'll leave you what I've got. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I won't turn that down. <laughs> Another nice fish. Another nice fish. I think that's 35 pound test, not too kinky leader. And it, you could hardly see it. And I use a hundred pound test to make that spinner with. And it's just resilient. It's holding out great. Well, I'm impressed. We, we caught a pile of fish all day today and you haven't touched that thing, so. No, not even tweaking it, not even. Big yap on that. 
Another beautiful, clean looking fish. And a couple of bites on you. They're feisty. Feisty, feisty. There we go. I don't need the spinners. You can do anything you want if you make your own spinners. Whatever kind of blade you want, how heavy, how heavy you want it. Another nice yeah. fish. You know what? They're they've they're just coming back from that spawn. They've got bite marks all over them that are still healing. Yeah, they're beat up too. On the bellies. Yeah. Another nice fish. Yeah, good work. You guys are spoiled. Holy smokes! <laughs> I think he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Not a nick. Not a thing. Thirty pound cans in braid. Nice sensitive Helios rod and a Helios reel, and it's a probably the lightest bait casting outfit I've ever used. But when you're casting light spinners like that, it just makes it effortless. You can feel every vibration of the spinner blade. You can cast all day. Perfect. Now I gotta get another impulse on because he stole my plastic again. It helps. I mean, they've got that scent. If they're feeding on leeches, they like that little grub twister tail on the back. Plus it adds scent. So if they're following you real close, it's just that extra incentive to eat it. If it works, you don't change it, and it's working, and it worked last year. What you got, Terry? I think it's a king. Is it a real slow take? Yeah, it's very, very slow. It's not tear, tearing all over the place like the Benita was? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice fish. Yeah. I never, I can never get over the beautiful colors on these things. I know, they're gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna let uh, Steve handle your fish here, Terry, and I'm gonna grab mine that's taken off in the rod holder. Watch, this is probably the best fish of the day and it did it all by itself. <laughs> That's the greatest thing. If you've got great knots, good line, sharp ultra point hooks, the fish will hook themselves. I think people lose more fish than they, they need to because they panic and they break off and the line rubs against the boat. You just, one set hooks in the fish and you've got good equipment, you're good. It's a nice fish, Terry. Yeah. Nice little tuna. I know, isn't that great? Beautiful little fish. Yeah. Wow, they are colorful. They are, they're beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was a king mackerel because it was fighting too hard for a bonita, but yeah, what's the middle? Tuna. Yeah. <laughs> they got them big old pecs, man. They're yeah. Like bird. Yeah. Good job. Beautiful fish. A nice little fish. Very cool. We might have to keep that, Steve. I think you sucked the hook right in. All right. Beautiful I to, fish. I know how to cook that stuff up, too. You got a dinner plate for that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little hot pan of grease. Yeah, beautiful fish. I'm glad you got wire on this, Steve, because the sharks are starting to show up now. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's a little reef shark or... That's actually a little silky shark. A silky shark? Yeah, that's a silky shark. Got kind of that silky look to them. Yeah, know? all right. Usually they got about 18 hooks in their mouths when you catch them. Oh, really? Yeah. They don't learn too well. They're bait stealers, are they? Yeah. Well, I'll let you do your magic on this if you don't mind, sir. They don't get really, really big. I did catch one one time that... Doesn't seem overly, I think he's tired out. Yeah, about four and a half feet long, but... Oh, look, he don't have a hook in his mouth. Very surprising. All right, Charlie, if you just pull on that. Yeah, keep it tight. I'll go down in here and locate the hook. And if not, we'll just snip. Thank you, sir. 
Yeah, what's really cool about these things is when you touch that eye, see how it's got that cover? Yeah, all, most, all sharks have that, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they cover right up to protect the, uh, the eye. So as soon as they bump into the food, right, boom, the eye's protected. Ah, and cool. And they get to eat and they don't lose no eyes. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Whoa! <laughs> and they can spin on a dime to grab you. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's trying to bite me. <laughs> okay, you want to set the hook, Terry? Sure. Okay. You can set the hook without putting it in your harness. Okay. Just, just free, ready? Yeah. And punch them a few times. Those good old ultra points will find home real quick. And I don't even put it in the harness until I've until he's done a few head shakes. <laughs> well, I've done that. Yeah. I like the shorter handle on that. That's a halibut rod, the SST. So that's, that's, that's got lots of power, but I think we can move around the boat a little better with it. We don't have to worry about the rollers on the line. Oh, you took the clicker off. Yeah. I thought something jammed. I was ready to hold on to you. <laughs> hey, you got him mad. You want to clip up? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Up one. There's one. And there's two. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. And as always, if you want a little more pressure on them, you can just push it past the strike. Yeah. Yeah. And just sit back and have fun. <laughs> See, these sharks are everywhere. Yeah, they follow us around. Man, it, it, even the other day, it's like, as soon as we stop being able to get our fish back to the boat, it's like, okay, stick up the shark, because now there's just too many around the boat. But have fun with it all. It's, yeah. You got fish here. I mean, this is what I'm coming down here for. I want to bend a rod. How you doing, Terry? Pretty good. <laughs> Stay in there. Yeah. Stay in, right? Working up a sweat yet? A <laughs> Betch is a bull shark. They just, they, a couple of head shakes and just straight power straight down around the boat and around the boat. They're just yeah. stubborn. They don't tire themselves out like a hammerhead. Just straight under the boat. Trying to tire me out. You're winning on them though. You're gaining. You got lots of pressure on them. Yeah. That rod's got a great just bend in it. There you go. I love seeing that head shake. You're winning. He's getting annoyed. Yeah. Doesn't want to come up. You're making him come up. It's a beautiful day. Oh yeah. Find the gloves, Steve. Yeah. Good man. Go clear out here, sir. Well, you expect me to help you now? Oh yeah. <laughs> How big is this fish gonna be? <laughs> In case you want to get your hands dirty. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll help you. If we can get the hook out. I like being able to get the hook out of them. Yeah. That looks like a nice fish, Terry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. There was a time when they were coming up with copious with them, you know? It's, it's stout. There, leader's touch. Caught fish. You want me to tug on it? <laughs> yeah. You just keep cranking, Terry, all right? I gotta help you out here with the leader. Yeah, it'll reel right through it. You can reel right through the swivel. Definitely bigger than Charlie. <laughs> it's a nice fish. A small great white. <laughs> nice fish. Nice. Beautiful fish. I think we can pop that hook, can't we? Yeah, well behaved too. He is. You know it's crazy as people look and they they don't see those teeth and they think, oh, there ain't no teeth in there. <laughs> There's so much gum, you know? Yeah. We can even take we can even take the hook out of you, buddy. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> nice. No, he's gone. He's gone, no problem at all. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Worked up a sweat? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> awesome. awesome, beautiful fish. Aren't yeah. they fun? They are so much fun. Sail tackle today, not too kinky. Kink resistant nickel titanium leader wire. Impulse grubs excite the bite with baked in microplankton.
thin, strong, and no stretch Seaguar Kansan braided lines. Okuma Helios rods, light in weight and incredibly sensitive. And perfectly matched, extremely light, but with heavy duty aluminum gears, the Helios reels. Must add three times trebles, holding up to your next trophy. And keep the twist out of your lines with quality must add ball bearing swivels. Welded tough with a roomy, open fishing design, the Crestliner Kodiak. Viking Evolution Jackets, a comfortable, sporty look and still 100% waterproof. Okuma Makaira Big Game Reels, built to take abuse from giants day after day. Mercury Verado Motors, quiet, fuel efficient, and supercharged for unbelievable power. And always dependable and made to work hard, the Ram 2500 Diesel. Fishful Thinking is brought to you by Crestliner Boats, Mercury Marine, Okuma High Performance Rods and Reels, and the all new Ram 1500. Guts, glory, Ram. Let's have a look at you to see if it's worthwhile. Oh, that's, big. that's fat. <laughs> that is a fat fish. Look at that wow. fish. You know, it's not really, really long, but boy, is it ever heavy. Oh my gosh, it sure is. Yeah. And this thing wants what to go already. What a beautiful fish.